JLTV, or Joint Light Tactical Vehicle, was a new U.S. military program initiated to partially replace the fleet of aging HMMWV utility vehicles. The new vehicle is intended for the U.S. Army, Marine Corps, and Special Forces. Currently, the HMMWV design is now over 25 years old. Also, recent military conflicts revealed the lack of protection of the HMMWV. The HMMWV was never designed to be an armored combat and patrol vehicle, however, for a number of years it has been employed as one. Also, it is not well suited for counterinsurgency warfare. Even its up-armored versions, such as M1114 and M1151, are very vulnerable to landmines and RPG-style anti-tank rockets. In contrast, the JLTV has been specifically designed with patrol and combat missions in mind. It is better protected and more survivable than a HMMWV, yet it is still as mobile. A number of companies were competing to meet requirements of the JLTV program. In 2015, a modified version of Oshkosh LATV was selected as a winner. Low-rate initial production began in 2016. It was planned that full rate production will begin in 2018 to 2019. By the end of 2018, the U.S. Army ordered over 11,000 of these military vehicles. First operational vehicles could be delivered in 2019. Slovenia was first export customer of the JLTV. A total of 38 vehicles were ordered for Slovenian military. In 2019, Montenegro ordered 67 of these protected vehicles. Some other countries expressed interest in obtaining these armored vehicles. The JLTV has a greater payload capacity than the HMMWV. There are three main versions, with a maximum payload of 1.6T, 1.8-2T, and 2.3T vehicle with the smallest payload capacity provides seating for four passengers, including the driver, middle, four, six men, and the highest payload variant is used as a shelter carrier. This vehicle is also capable of towing an associated trailer with the same payload. The companion trailer is designated as the JLTVT. A baseline JLTV carries no weapons. However, it can be armed with a roof-mounted 7.62mm or 12.7mm machine gun or 40mm automatic grenade launcher. Alternatively, it can be fitted with a remotely controlled weapon station. In this case, weapons are operated remotely under armor protection. The JLTV can be also used as a platform to carry anti-tank or anti-aircraft weapons. The JLTV is powered by a turbocharged diesel engine. There is also an option for hybrid diesel-electric engine that is more fuel-efficient. Also, the engine has a capability to export electricity, however, this feature is also optional. Vehicle uses Oshkosh Intelligent Independent Suspension System for faster off-road speeds. This tactical vehicle has good cross-country mobility and can travel over difficult terrain. The JLTV is fitted with two run-flat tires and will keep going with damaged fuel tank or engine oil reservoir.